Welcome back to Home Qualified News, the real real estate truth. This is episode 20 and I'm Ralph DiBagnaro, Kayla Rosario, and I think we have some good stuff for you today. We're gonna debunk some myths and give you some information. Anyone can be a real estate investor, but what is an accredited investor? That's a really good question. I think you hear the term real estate investor thrown around a lot, or I'm an investor or I invest in real estate. When you get to a larger level and what funds are looking for, and for yourself, if you're trying to build for something, becoming an accredited investor is the, the top rung of, of being an investor. What an accredited investor actually is, is somebody who makes at least $200,000 a year in income and they can prove it, and their net worth is a million dollars. That net worth cannot include the value of a home unless the, you're going off just the equity in the home. So if you have a million dollar home and there's no mortgage on it, then it can't be included. But if it doesn't, you can only include the equity of those homes. So if you're looking for investors for a project or you want to get involved in a project that has real estate investors, you want to make sure they're accredited because those are the people who have a track record and they're proven to be profitable at investments. The common question that we get is, can you live off of property cash flow? I'm sure you hear that a lot at this point now. I don't believe if you're buying homes currently in this market that you can live just off of cash flow. Interest rates are up, taxes are up, uh, insurance costs are up. Most of the time, as a real estate investor, and I, I'm, I think I'm an accredited investor at this point, most of, the, most of the time when you're investing in these properties, even if I'm getting cash flow on a property, a lot of it's going back into repairs. So I think if you're going into real estate to buy as an investment, don't plan on taking cash out of it month over month. You're going to have to leave the reserve and furthermore, you're really in their investment for the long-term equity and the long-term payout because cash flow is not as easy to come through these days. I agree. I still get clients now in today's market that want to live rent-free in their property because they think they're going to be able to live off of cash flow. It's not smart to, in, to live rent-free in your properties in this market because you need the money to be able to fix the property. I mean, it would be great to live rent-free. I just don't think it's realistic at this point. It's yeah. not realistic with how high rates yeah. are and how high these mortgage payments are. Yeah, I mean, you know, just examples of things that happened, you know, Plumbing goes wrong, HVAC systems go wrong, trees fall, you have insect problems or Your animal heating goes off. Heating, yeah, so a lot of the times, even if you have money coming to the account, it's gonna go back into the property. You're really buying real estate for the long-term value of it, and that's how it should be looked at. And even if you buy in today's market and you're not having cash flow, when rates come down, you can always refinance, and that's gonna make it Improve easier it. in yeah. your pockets. That's, great. that's a great point. Today's mortgage tip sponsored by Cardinal Financial. The deputy chief economist in NAR mentions a recent decline currently a full percentage point below the high of nearly 8%. While rates may dip to the low 6% range later in the year, Lotz advises buyers that waiting for the rates to decline might have them paying more for a property as we can't predict if rates will raise or decline. So she makes a really good point. I want to point something else out that that, that made me think of. There's plenty of down payment assistance programs available right now, and we've spoken about it in this program before, that you can get assistance to use for a down payment to buy these properties. In some of those down payment assistance programs, you don't even have to pay the money back. So why would that be happening? Why that's happening is because banks and investors are anticipating a rise in prices of homes. Mm -hmm. So they're anticipating you having more equity than you have now, which is why they're offering you down payment assistance for these programs. So it's still a good time to buy a house. You can always lower the rate later on. If you try to get into the game, after rates have come down, which is what she's recommending, it's going to be very, very difficult. It's going to be a bidding war like 2020, 2021. Yes, absolutely. I feel like if you can purchase today, go ahead and make the investment now before you're overpaying for a property because you can always refinance and lower your rate. But you can't, once you've overpaid for a property, there's nothing you can really yes, do. It's all over. <laughs> I'm Raf Dignado. This is Home Qualified News. I hope you guys are enjoying the stuff we're doing. We would love your recommendations. We'd love you to write into us and tell us what you want to see, what you want to hear about. I think we have enough experience to answer it. So I hope um, you use this as a tool to find out what the real real estate truths are. I'm Raf Dignado, and Kayla's going to leave you with. I'm going to leave you with the TikTok of the week. Thank you. What I actually found out was that it was not a work phone. It was simply a secondary personal phone he told me it was a work phone i thought that the company was paying for the work phone that's what i thought no 